Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. In this podcast, we're going to explore the six ways to use video marketing to strengthen your brand. And I believe you want to be recognizable for all the things that are going to be setting you apart. You know, half of the time I know you're probably listening to this podcast, reading my stuff, my ebooks and books for the same reasons that I create this content. And that's so that you can become a powerful and most recognizable person in your industry. And that this is because of a really, really innate desire for you to turn your vision into reality and to experience greater freedom in your life. And because you really want to figure out how the heck you can make this whole online business thing more successful. As you know, we have always been giving you the proven systems to flood your service business with qualified leads even if no one has ever heard of you all right and i viscerally believe that you can be successful uh, and with love and respect i'm talking success here meaning your own definition your own measures of the world i'll tell you something in the maybe 14 15 plus years of me as an entrepreneur Video marketing has been the most powerful amplifier of success, freedom, abundance, and the impact that I've ever seen. It has reliably grown so many businesses that, you know, have learned to simply implement it, you know, and I've lost count of that. Because of that, I deeply believe that if you're sharing your content you're sharing your life experiences and your stories through video marketing you will be doing have a business that's profitable and enjoyable and i've always heard people saying that the closer you are to the camera the closer you would be um you know to the bank now it's undeniable that you know video is actually very engaging because you are appealing to the visual and audio senses of that person half of the time if you're listening to this podcast i kid you not you're probably doing something either riding a bike walking your dog or playing with your kids while this is playing in the background but you can't ignore a video because in in video commands your attention so video is one of the best windows to your customers um you know into their life so that you are borrowing some time from them and it's also a visual for your customers to have on your business so it's a two-way street okay so whatever you have around you how you speak and maybe the presentation that you have on the video people can then gauge wait a minute does this person have the authenticity or the propensity to solve whatever problems they might be having. So it actually allows them to see for themselves what you can offer them and why they should trust you and not anybody else who's also touting for their attention. But for that to be effective, your videos actually need to build, you know, build on and actually strengthen um, your brand so that your customers have a clear picture of what to expect should they come to you. Because, you know, they say a picture says a thousand words. I kid you not, a video would say 10,000 words more because people can literally see you, feel you. They just can't smell you. So that's um, something something that you can always rely on. Now, in light of the pandemic, uh, in light of what has been happening in the world, we noticed that even school was being conducted on Zoom. Um, meetings were being conducted on Zoom. So I think we've... Um, come accustomed to not wanting to overly produce our content, but to at least make it um, professional enough, you know, just to respect the time that our audience are going to be giving um, in order to participate in our content. And it says that 
um, during the pandemic, 30% of small to medium businesses, uh, coaches and consultants, they have indicated that they actually plan to increase their video production because the bar to entry has become very, very small, which means it's more important than ever to actually ensure that the strength of your brand is now visual and that it actually sets you apart. So for us to look at, um, you know, the six ways that you can use, um, you know, in your video marketing strategy so that you too can be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now let's get started. To be honest, since people are going to be watching and taking time out of their day, you really need to be clear from the get-go. I'm not quite sure if I was clear at the start of this podcast, but the very few seconds of your video are not time for ambiguity. Right? Your audience needs to recognize your business earlier on. Are you the person? Are you the right kind of person with the right kind of solution to whatever pain they might be going through? All right? And you want to maintain consistency. And it also ensures that you are spreading it all throughout the video. And the rest of the video, you're associating everything that you say and that you do and that it's congruent to your message and also your target audience. So additionally, you want to be very clear about your message right from the start. Now, whether your goal is to say, teach your audience or introduce a product or tell a story about your services, you want to make sure that you are absolutely clear about what it is that you're going to be delivering to your audience. And this reminds your audience, you know, what your business is all about and it keeps them hooked because, you know, you never know where they're watching the video from. When they're watching it in YouTube, guess what? There's already another video that's rearing its head there demanding their attention. So if your audience stops watching, well, your video will do nothing for your brand. So you want to make sure that you've got them right from the get-go, okay? And while for you to be able to get your audience from the get-go, you really need to establish who the video or the message is for, okay? Now, before you even think about designing a video campaign, you absolutely need to identify your target audience because if you generalize in your video to everyone, you are not going to do yourself any favors, you know, when it comes to strengthening your brand. People will always gravitate towards a message that speaks to them. They will ignore spray and pray marketing. So when you focus on your audience, you focus on their pain points, you focus on, um, you know, the things that keeps them up at night. You know what I mean? Your business starts to become relevant to them. It starts to become um, topical. All right. And you not only need to, um, you know, try and get people to watch because you already know what they're going through, their pain points and everything else. You now create a more focused brand um, and you also increase increase the likelihood of getting through to the people that literally need to hear your message. And at the end of the day, you are absolutely uh, being of value to those that are going to be, um, you know, uh, engaging with your content. All right. And guess what? More business that comes your way, it absolutely helps your brand. So you want to make sure that people already get to know, like, and trust who you are and have an understanding of how your products and services are going to be relevant in their lives, okay? And for you to be able to do this, don't just throw out facts and opinions, you know, and just show people that you are, you know, educated. And especially with uh, consultants that come with an alphabet soup on their LinkedIn, they always want to create that barrier of, oh, yeah, I've got more education than you. You know what I mean? You want to be telling a story, right? Human beings are naturally wired to follow a story. You know, are your stories justifying people's failures? Are your stories, you know, telling us what your actual purpose is, your why? Are your stories really, you know, grav you know, putting together who you are and why anybody should care? 
because you want to use your videos to tell a story, whether it's a business story or an employee story or a customer story who's using or has had success with your product. Now, this actually then shows your audience that you have actual real people, that your systems, processes are proven and that you are who you say you are and that some people are actually behind um, you know, the faceless logo that they would have come across while they're scrolling through their social media there. And it actually allows them to connect with your brand on a human level because guess what? People actually buy from other people. So when people put, you know, a real face to a story, like you all know my story of how I came from Zimbabwe and I knew no one um, with only a backpack full of hopes and dreams. I always weave that story in and out of um, every interaction that I possibly have online because when people put a real face and a story at the forefront, um, you know, um, they now start really creating feelings of emotion and empathy and that's the level where people actually buy products people don't rationally think most of the time okay so when putting real faces and stories at the forefront of your marketing strategy it actually builds a sense of trust and understanding between you and your audience and it helps craft a brand that actually appeals to people on a personal level because if people know that whatever they're going to be doing and the support that they're giving to your business is going to put sally to school is going to put your kids to college is going to you know help you be do and have a happier existence don't you think people would support that so you want to be telling your stories and also help them relate to who you have become just in case they're also on their way up because your life story and your experience are what other people are seeking because they are unique all the other information is is just the same out there but your um, experiences and how you go went past them so half of the time when you want to create content the best way to be creating content is to figure out what are you actually embarrassed with or what are you struggling with currently and what are you doing about it? Because nine times out of 10, other people are also going through that same um, experience. And since we've got people, uh, you know, around us and people that we're actually getting results for, you want to include testimonials in your videos all right don't just rely on yourself and, and be that talking head or your employees to sell your companies let um you know satisfied customers do that for you they can become ambassadors of your work and people actually value getting recommendations from their friends more than um they trust hearing it from you the coach or the consultant that they're going to be working with later on so if your video displays um, you know real people real voices people that have actually experienced your your proven methods they're actually getting the results that you say you're going to be giving people it actually lends your brand or your business credibility and guess what people are seeking credible businesses and consultants and coaches out there to do business with and it actually shows that your business can be trusted and if people can trust you guess what they will also be able to trust you with their lives with their wallets and everything else that we're in business for so just think about it who are you more likely to believe a happy customers sharing a positive experience or employees that get paid um you know for every product or service that gets sold all right you want to just ask yourself those questions just so that you can see um, you know, if your message is actually, um, you know, hitting the mark with the people that you are hoping to uh, maybe sell products to later on in the future. And once you've done that, you've shown your results and everything else, try and also, you know, you know, show, share your expertise. You know, you are where you are for a reason because you've tried and failed and we want to know what has worked and what hasn't worked and let your audience see that don't be shy to actually talk about your failures you know there's a time when i was doing videos online and um we actually 
I was not making money in my business, but I was using that time to really grow myself and harness my and clarify my message, you know, and I would show up on Facebook live while we had no heating in the house because I couldn't afford to get it fixed because it had broken. You know, and I was telling people that I was not hiding behind some sort of, um, you know, manufactured um, hustling or hustle that never existed. And people actually gravitated towards that so much that some person who was on my live that day do donated about $500, which I later on used, um, you know, towards, you know, the heating uh, of my property. You never know how people will be able to help you. So when you are helping other people make sense of the world around them, they will reciprocate in kind or using um, the money, you know, in, 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 in return. All right. So, you know, you can make how to videos or case study videos. Give your audience real evidence that they can actually apply in their lives. Help them by actually helping them. And you can show that you know what you're doing. Show them the real results that you're getting and how you actually got there. Make sure that your brand is associated with real expertise. That is where credibility comes from. Credibility does not come from maybe, you know, telling people that you're credible. Credibility comes from real engagement, real knowledge, and in addition, just being human. I think it was a 2021 report that says 94% of people have watched and explained a video just to learn more about a product or a service. So your efforts are not going to be in vain. And the more you do videos out there, the less you would have to explain yourself because you know what? These people already know, like, and trust who you are. And last but not least, you know, when you're giving people value you, and you're, you're moving them from um, one part of the buyer's journey to the next, you want to incorporate a lot of calls to action so that, you know, they people go on to the next step. Videos are usually just like a lead magnet or a lead generator, which you, um, you know, put in front of people to explain that you can help them. And then you then invite them either to a call or you invite them to do a course or anything else. We are already progressive as a species. So you want to make sure that once you have turned on your, your prospects with your video or whatever it is, give them a compelling call to action. You know, you need more than just one goal in your video. You need your audience to know what you want them to do. Here's what I've got. Here's what it will do for you. Here's what I want you to do next. Some people will viscerally not do anything unless they have been instructed to do something. Click this button, download this thing. Those calls to action are the ones that will actually then move people along and nurture them so that they can, um, you know, go from being a prospect to actually a buying customer. So including a call to action in your video shows that you are a brand with direction and with purpose. And it actually gives, um, you know, your audience the direct instructions on how to get involved with you if they're actually interested in what you've got to offer. So maybe a successful call to action will actually strengthen your brand through the business, um, you know, it brings to you. Because although most pool put um, calls to action right at the end, Studies have shown that calls to action in the middle of the video while people are engaged, they're the ones with the highest conversion rate. So this is the time where you go in and download our report. You know, the, the one that came with this podcast here. <laughs> All right. Now, you also want to play around with it and see what actually works best for you, depending on the length of the video or the, you know, the content that you're putting out there. All right. So it is really always, always important to remember that when it comes to video marketing, standing out and being unique is important, but that in and of itself isn't enough to bring the business. You need to ensure that everything that you do is working to strengthen and build upon the brand so that you're not only gaining your audience trust and confidence, but you're actually becoming recognizable to them for the things that actually set you apart. Remember, it's not your product or your services that you sell. It is your brand. That is what people are buying. 
um, not the goods and services that we put in the, you know, in, in front of them, but the actual brand, the promise that you're giving people, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I simply hope that with you following our content or reading our blogs and listening to this podcast, or, you know, you've been able to learn from me and I'm hoping you'll be able to learn in the future as well that you too can be doing and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And through the power of information, action and mentorship and maybe coaching and the accountability that you now have, you can turn any difficulty uh, into possibility and we are living in the best time in the world right now. You know what? I've spoken about what you can do with your um, video marketing there. Now is your chance to take it, you know, right? And, and if you're ready to dive into more, let me tell you something. This is only the beginning. So if you have come through our podcast using an email or, um, you know, any different channel, just get the proven 10-step process that you can download from wherever you got this podcast from and you will be able to flood your service business with qualified leads in the next 90 days even if no one has ever heard of you i know you deserve a life of freedom and i'm celebrating your success already thank you for joining us today if you have any questions let's continue the conversation in the live long digital community Become a Live Long Digital Community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital Community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.